The book that I decided to read is called A Small Place by Jamaica Kincaid, which was published in 1988. The schools of criticism that I chose were postcolonial and new historicism. The first question that I'll answer is from postcolonial. Persons or groups does the work identify as other or stranger? How are such persons slash groups described and treated? I'll read this page to answer that. The Antigua that I knew, the Antigua in which I grew up, is not the Antigua you, a tourist, would see now. That Antigua no longer exists. That Antigua no longer exists partly for the usual reason, the passing of time, and partly because the bad-minded people who used to rule over it, the English, no longer do so. But the English have become such a pitiful lot these days, with hardly any idea what to do with themselves now that they no longer have one quarter of the earth's human population bowing and scraping before them. They don't seem to know that this empire business was all wrong and they should at least be wearing sackcloth and ashes in token penance of the wrongs committed. The arrow, arrow vocab, that part doesn't matter. So, this basically meant to me that she's mad. This woman, this girl, this teenager, I don't know what age she was when she wrote it but i'm assuming she was fuming mad well yeah she was mad um she the group is treated the english which could be british people english american people westerners um are treated as if they destroyed her whole culture throughout the whole book you kind of get this sense of wow like did i do this did my people do this you kind of feel a little bit of guilt and i think that's the point she wants you to feel that but at the same time you can't feel responsible for the actions that a few of our fellow people might have done towards you in your country um the next question is, are there meaningful similarities among the literatures of different post-colonial populations? Um, I would say yes. Um, the tone is definitely a thing. The whole, well, you guys did this. You guys should be repaying. That kind of thing I've seen a lot throughout history and like excerpts from like um, people's journals and other non-fiction books that I've read that have to do with like the personal views on colonization all have this um common center of negativity and hurt they sound hurt all the people that I've read just sound hurt like they sound like they just want to get it out their chest and they they want not revenge but they want confidence to know that it won't happen again and they want almost an apology which is understandable but at the same time you're not going to get an apology every time so it's going to be hard but i think they do that by their writing expressing how they feel and i'm sure there have been some people that have wrote jamaica kincaid and told her, I'm sorry what my people have done, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm sure that um, people have felt bad. Um, but I don't think she really wants you to just feel bad. I just think she wants there to be an understanding. No matter what country you're from, if you're reading this book, coming and taking away a person's culture and bringing in your own and saying, yours is the best, yours is number one you should stick with this is wrong. I think that's what the main purpose is of this, her tone and this book. Um, the new historicism questions are, how are events, interpretation, and presentation a product of the culture of the author? Um, I think that her culture values sticking together and really keeping the culture alive. Because a lot of cultures that aren't from big countries like America or like Canada, like huge countries, it's easier to preserve your culture. But when you're from like a small island, which not a lot of people go in and out of every day, 
you want to keep it alive so when people do come you have something to show and something to offer and you're not just like everybody else I think that's the importance of culture and that's the point that she wants to preserve it and do everything she can and she gets mad when people come to take away what little they already have she feels that if you already have a lot why are you trying to take away from people with so little um the last question i'll be answering is does the works presentation support or condemn the event i would say condemns it but at the same time she's not fully 